have to pick that up now. Why? It's just littering. Do you not care about this earth? No, why would I? This is why you're corrupt. ENN starts now. <laughs> Recycle the paper. What's recycling? Now that I think of it, I don't even know. I think Andrew knows more about that. Let's go to him. You have to keep the environment clean. Isn't there a club on campus that can help with that? Yeah, I think there is. It's the environmental club. Let's go check out more. So in our club, we achieve and try to make our school as in a as environmentally sustainable as we can. After school, we put out our recycle bins in between all four buildings, and we collect all recyclable items from all the classrooms, and we are actually working on growing a sustainable garden out by Ag that they are helping with, doing our hydroponics and the bricks to lay out our area. So with that garden, we are going to grow um, vegetables and fruits to donate to Georgia's Closet to give to the students in need. That's nice. And I've noticed there's many recycle bins around the school now. Yes, so we are leaving them out from Tuesdays to around Thursdays or Fridays so teachers can um, recycle more. And it's not only on one day and just picked up one day a week. They can recycle as much as they want whenever they want. I'm just looking up FFA and how it affects the world. I think Charlie knows more about that. Good morning, Eagles. We're here with Charlie Wood to talk about Market Hogs. So first, before we start talking about Market Hogs, I wanted to congratulate you on coming in first place in land judging. Thank you. So how did it feel when you actually came, when they told you that? It was very surprising, actually, because when we were at the competition, we didn't think we did so well. 
but afterwards we were thinking about all the things that we uh, did and all the answers to all the packets that we filled out and realized how that we may have done a good job and then when we get home when we got home and they told us how we did we were like screaming up and down it was just really like really we were really happy that's good to hear so you do market hogs right yes what's the names of your, of your pigs so i had three this year one for youth the pulp County Youth Fair, one for State Fair, and then one for the Central Florida Youth and Ag Fair. My pig for the Polk County Youth Fair was a girl and her name was Rosie. And then she was a Hampshire cross, which means she was black and then had white stripes. And then I had two Yorkshire crosses for the State Fair and Central Florida Youth and Ag Fair. And the one for State Fair's name was Chuck. And then I had the one for CFYIA or Central Florida Youth and Ag was named Rebel. So what actually goes into preparation for these market shows? So it takes a lot of time and effort. I spend at least three hours a day at the barn uh, working, washing, and walking my pigs. So usually I start out the day in the morning at 6.15 feeding them their first meal of the day. And then during my ag classes, I'll come out there and check on them and spray out their pens if needed. And then after school, I'll go directly out to the barn. I'll feed my pigs. And then after they're done eating, I'll walk them for at least 15 minutes a day. And then I'll feed or I'll wash them afterwards and then feed them again if they're still hungry. But a lot of the walking prepares them for the show ring in which I can drive them and walk them in certain directions around the judge to get the best showmanship uh, and quality features for my animal. So you raise these pigs from like birth, right? Yeah. Well, I we get them at three months old they're usually born in june or july and then we grow them until january or till to the end of march so the first fair we have is in january and the last fair we have is in march so usually depending on when we the fair is is how young we get the pigs so do you build like a connection with those pigs over time I usually try not to because in the end we know that it's you have to lose the project but I try to stay like distant from them so I don't get connected them to them but most of the time I do grow an attach attra attachment to them because they are such a big part of my life and I work with them so much so what would you say the hardest part about market hogging doing market hogs is Probably the hardest part is building a bond with your animal. Um, when you get them, they're very skittish and scared, but over time you have to like work with them gently and over time gradually work with, the, with them harder to understand how they function and you function together. Because think about it as like a basketball and the basketball player, like you're dribbling the entire time, but like for pig showing, you're dribbling not dribbling, but driving your pig just like you would dribble a ball. You, it's constant pressure at all times. And so your pig has to listen to you just like your hand would listen to the basketball. You have to ha be in control of your pig at all times and they have to be able to listen to you. So building that bond so that you can control them is kind of the hardest part. Congratulations on your previous projects and congratulations on winning land judging. Wish you the best in your FFA career. Thank you. So Dylan, did you learn more about Earth Day? Yeah, I did. Well, Eagles, I hope you learn more too. I'm Dylan. And I'm Reagan, signing, signing off, off from ENN. E Attention all students, yearbooks will be distributed Friday, April 27th during 7th period in the cafeteria. If you pre-ordered a yearbook, you may pick it up at this time. If you're not able to attend this distribution party on Friday, then you may pick up your book in room 4224 starting on April 25th. There are still a few books available for purchase starting on April 25th in room 4224 for $100 cash or check. Attention all seniors, check the senior class webpage for the most up-to-date graduation information. If you have any questions, see Mr. Townley in room 1216 after school. Elections for student council officers will be Friday the 22nd during all lunches. Be sure to go vote for who you want representing your class.